So hey everyone, this is I Run here, and we are back for another 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 new tip tutorial. And this new tip is going to be on the guns or the firearms. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go through each individual gun. Uh, we'll cover the damage and stuff. Uh, Tamik is with me here. You can see him up there running around. He's providing some mm -hmm. cover for me. <laughs> And um, and it's going to help me out. So hopefully this is going to help you guys out too. On uh, give you some tips on what you'll want to collect and what not to collect, considering the limits on your global inventory. All right. So um, first off, we're just going to start start off with your sidearms and the shotguns, and we'll go through each. I'll kind of click on them here, and then we will go over to your assault rifles and the sniper rifles. So the first one here is the Smith and Reesley or you're basically your Smith and Wesson. It's your standard 9 millimeter pistol. It has an ammo capacity of 19 and a damage of 225. Uh, let's go down here. This is your Warren. Your Warren 50 caliber sidearm. Basically your um, uh, what they call that one? Uh, Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> I, was, I was dropping it from my my Call of Duty days. So basically, the, the Warren uh, 50 caliber is is kind of like your Desert Eagle, and um, it has a damage of 400 as a, compared to the Risley. Uh, it has an ammo capacity of 12 and uses the the 50 cal, but also has a lot more recoil. The other sidearm that we can use is the Has Three or in other words, an Uzi. It's a 9mm as well. Has an ammo capacity of 30, but only does 155 uh, points of damage. But because of the rapid fire, is it's pretty good, especially if you're, um, you know, protecting yourself against nether. And then we have the Mach 9, which does 180, has also a capacity of 30 and a 9mm, and it's rapid fire. And with a red dot scope, it's one of the better ones for using for PvP. As far as the ranged weapons we're covering right now, we're going to cover the, the shoddy. So this is the KB-12. It does a, a damage of 600, has an ammo capacity of 8, and it's a 12 gauge shotgun. So this one is good for, uh, especially against Nether and some close combat situations. But it's also, if correct me if I'm wrong, to me, but that's basically single shot, right? Because it's the pump action, so you gotta yes, right. So the creme de la creme almost is your TFC because it is an auto fire, fully automatic gas power, 12 gauge, um, 12 capacity, and 800 damage. So you can. I believe this is one of your preferred weapons when you fight the Reaper, is that correct? Yes, yes, but you need to be careful with that weapon because it's a really big kick. Yeah. So really hard to handle it when you rapid fire with it. Great. So, and then the last shotgun we're going to be covering is going to be the Heartburner. Of course, this is a special one that um, you can you can find in games sometimes, but you can, you, you can craft it by trading with the uh, Order of the Coal. It has a six shot capacity. It takes the bones, uh, bone slugs that you can pick up from Reaper kills, and but it does a thousand damage. It also, though, um, well, you'll see in a minute. We'll shoot it. It also will. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to handling it. So I'm going to go right out of here, out of the safe zone, real quick. Make sure that I don't shoot Tamik, and we're <laughs> going to fire these a few times. So this is the Smith and Risley so you can just right click and shoot that way or you can excuse me left click and shoot or right click and aim down your sight and shoot so this one is not too bad if uh, for a firearm when you first get started out if you don't have anything else and um, you know it's, it's really accurate not a lot of kick and can protect you against uh, some players as well as nether you always hit R to reload um, next, we're going to go ahead and go to the Warren. So we're going to equip the Warren. And you will see that this one has quite a bit more kick. But you're going to be doing some more damage. So anyway, let's reload that baby. Let's go to the Haz. We'll equip that. 
course, this is really good, at, at least for some initial self-defense. You can, and of course, you can also aim down sight. Very little kick. Not a lot of damage, but being rapid fire, you can do a lot of damage quickly. And the last one here on the sidearms, the RAB. And of course, the RAB comes with a scope. So, you can see there is somewhat of a, of a recoil there, but still very nice for, uh, for your own personal protection against nether or other players. So it's probably, to me, the preferred firearm, won't you say to me? Yeah, the first. Yeah, I use it all the time. Basically. Yeah, I think the only problem is is when you go start crafting guns out of parts because you really can't find these guns in game. You have to actually craft them. I mean, you can occasionally, but they're rare, or kill somebody that has it. So let's switch over to the the shoddy. So this KB12, and I am firing it without even clicking my button. That was nice. Good thing you weren't anywhere near. That was really weird. So, <laughs> Alright, so this is uh, you aim in, kick. You're doing 600 damage with, with each of those. Let's go ahead and switch over to the TFC. Alright, so now we're on the TFC and you can see, just a reminder, that does 8 damage but you can see that it's it's auto fire but there's a lot of kick so you probably want to shoot especially if you're going up against a reaper but uh... take some time to kind of re-aim reorient yourself alright so that takes care of the TFC and last here before we move on to the assault rifles we're gonna cover a heart burner. So this one here, you can also aim down sight. Kind of really ugly, but it has its texture in game now. But a thousand shots of damage every time you hit. So look at that baby. And you can rapid fire it pretty decent, but it has a lot of kick, so you you're you're gonna have to wait to re-aim. All right, so hold on. We will be right back. We're going to go switch out some weapons, and we will see you in a minute. All right, we are now back. Uh, I am sporting right now the Lopez. I believe. Am I sporting the Lopez? Yes, but I got to get to it. So I was actually still holding the Mach 9. So the Lopez is not a very powerful weapon. Well, let's cover them right now. The Lopez does 180 damage. Um, has a 30 round capacity and is a 45 ACP ammo like this one right here. So it doesn't do a tremendous amount of damage, but is really nice as far as not a lot of recoil, especially if you're just a lot of people use it for har harvesting nether if you want to just go out. Plus, uh, with the silencer on it, it doesn't make a lot of sound, so it doesn't alert other players as much or or nether. So. Um, it's, it's kind of good for that, but again, you have to have several several hits with it. So let me go. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I didn't do the can gun, so we'll do the can gun here too. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'll put that up there. The can gun is basically a little small shoddy that you get when you first start the game. Uh, does 600 points of damage, which is pretty good, but it's basically single shot. Then you have to reload, so it's not very efficient. But if it's all you have, then it's all you have. All right, so the next the next gun here is the Mag DR, the DR15, which uh, I think if you talk to most players, is probably the best overall gun in the game. It does 300 points of damage, has a 30 round capacity, uses the 5.56 ammo, but it has a scope. Uh, it's fairly reliable, and it does go under ranged weapons, so you can't use it along with, say, a sniper. But uh, you can drop somebody in and uh, nethers pretty quick with it. The next one I'll cover here is the Grave Digger. You have to craft that again with the old Order of the Coal. Um, I don't I don't see too many people in the game actually using that weapon. Do, do you, Tamik? I never used it. I crafted it once, but I didn't like it. So. Yeah, so you can craft it with a shovel and a few other things. Um, 
we might want to actually run through that uh, if we have time we'll run through that in the um, with the order of the calling and the weapons crafting but 225 damage not too bad uh, 35 round capacity uses the 556 but I'll show you it's, it's pretty much just crafted from a bunch of junk um, the RAB 47 is a sniper rifle with damage of 375, a uh, ammo capacity of 30, and a five, uses a 5.56. The crew uh, does 800 damage, a four round capacity, uses a 7.62. So, everybody I talk to, that's their preferred sniper rifle just because mainly of the damage that will do. And if you go the full gun perk, you basically can um, drop somebody with one shot. I'm not sure if that actually works with the other weapons. Does it as well? Do you know? Can no, you... because it's, you need to put a headshot with the crew. Because when you are gun perk on full level, you got 25% the critical damage plus right. 25%. So that's why, actually, when you go with the crew, you can drop somebody on one hit. Right. So and then the other one here is now is the Piper Sniper. It does 700 damage. Uh, but it's it's like a single shot sniper rifle, so um, not really that helpful, I think, in the long run. But if you don't have anything else, at least you can use it for scoping and um, well, I mean, it is it is useful. But I think still the preferred is going to be probably the crew first, uh, and then maybe the rab, mainly because of the capacity of the rab and then and also the rab is silenced so it doesn't give your position away just doesn't do a whole lot of damage but the crew 800 damage uh, four rounds I mean pretty good gun so um, to me most people will run if they can with either the mag DR or the crew in your range slot and they will run with the Mach 9 in the um, sidearm if they can so I'm gonna go out here real quick and I'm going to actually switch back over to the can gun so you guys can see it real quick or pop gun or whatever you want to call it. So if you right click, you can't even right click and really scope in with this thing. And so it's pretty much used as is. Shoot and hope that you can do it. But then after you shoot, you pretty much have to reload. Is that our, our one here? No, we're no. still safe. And apparently I don't have any other shotgun ammo on me, so I can't even show you guys reloading. But that was it uh, for that one. So, um, Lopez. I actually kind of like the Lopez. Uh, kind of reminds me of like the M16. Low recoil, and if you're going up against especially Nether, you can, you can take them out pretty easily. Maybe we'll go around in a second and see if we can find a Nether, a crawler or something. Uh, but let's get through this. The next one, uh, let's go ahead and equip the Mag DR. Again, with the Mag DR, you have a scope. As you can see with the Mag DR there, I mean, yeah, but it kind of goes around. Now, I think the other thing probably I should show you on my character screen, I got full guns here. So if you're going with guns, the first level gives you steady aim. So you would want to go there. The second perk gives you headshots, unlock critical damage from headshots, and then the last one gives you marksmanship which increases the damage from all guns, any gun you use by 25%. So if you're going to use guns, which eventually you will, and or you're going to PMP, PvP, you need to have that maxed out. Alright, so again, that's the Mag DR. Oh, I saw something over there that I could shoot at, but um, Go ahead and switch these out. All right, let's go to the grave digger real quick. All right, so this is the grave digger, kind of ugly looking thing, but you can scope in. You can see you can do some damage with it, but it's just not great damage. But you can kind of rapid fire on your own. We will go to the Piper Sniper. Is that us? No. Okay. okay. Man, a lot of the safe zones going down. Uh, this is the Piper Sniper. I will warn you of something. Alright, so this is holding down the Alt key. You can see how it steadies it. Without the Alt key, it moves around. Alt key, steady, fire. 
but you can see how much it recoiled there. So you would have to then come in, and you can see I can't click again until I reload, and I don't have any more of that ammo currently on me. So it's a one-shot deal, and then you have to reload. Uh, let's go ahead and click and load in the RAB here. So this is the RAB again, how it goes around, but you hold the Alt left Alt key, and it steadies. You can see it's got silence. It does kick a bit, but by holding that, still not us. Man. No, no, no. <laughs> Eventually it's going to get to us. <laughs> uh, it's all, all seasons in a town. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we did the Piper Sniper and now the crew. And let me make sure that is going to be all weapons. So again, the crew is kind of the preferred again you can see how it's really floating around but you hold the alt you're holding your breath there's your shot and if you can get a headshot out of it then you're set and I don't have ammo to reload so let's let's run around to the other side so I'm gonna cut out here we're gonna go around the other side see if we can find something to shoot at and we will see if we can take one out real quick you'll see the damage there, you know? is screamer, there is a screamer on the hill right in the front of me. Oh, okay. Great. All right, so let's go ahead and... Of course, with the screecher, you know, not much to really worry about there because they go down with almost a single hit from any gun anyway. But having the full thing, 800... Um, 800 on there with 25%, so I'm doing like a thousand points of damage anyway. All right, so let's let's run over here to the crafting area real quick. All right, so this is the order of the coal. This is where you can uh, trade for some of the weapons. You hit your E, go on in here. This is your crew, so you can get a crew with the uh, the Reaper claws, which you can get from uh, the Reaper kills. This is your uh, Lopez, which you can get with the um, Hunter Ribs. So you need six Hunter Ribs. They, they need some like tips in here that actually tell you the name of what you're getting and what the item is. Uh, this is the Smith & Risley, which you can trade for uh, six Crawler Spines. Uh, that's a, a rifle stock, if you need that. That's three Watcher Eyes, which is, is you used to that and the uh, 4x scope here uh, to craft like your mag dr that's two of the parts of it I think the only thing you can't get in here is the um, the actual auto mechanism you can't buy that this is I think that's the 45 barrel that's a silencer with a golem and three claws that's a pistol frame and uh, but let's go down here so that's a bone spur we don't want to do that so that's your heart burner. You basically need uh, 15 nether bones, 7 um, hunter ribs, 20 crawler spines, and the jaw, jaws of a mantis. So it's pretty difficult to get all those. It takes a little while to get the items to do that. And the grave digger must actually be over at... I guess you craft the, the grave digger from Vlad. Alright Vlad. Yeah. So again, here's your Smith and Risley. If you're going to do that, it's a nine millimeter stock and a pistol frame. Your Lopez um, is your five five six barrel, an auto mechanism, and a um, is that another pistol frame, rifle, something like Which that. Which one? The, the, no, that's not it. Excuse me, that's a TFC. So that's a shotgun barrel, uh, the auto mechanism, and a shotgun thing. Uh, so I'm not really going to run through all these. I'll let you guys do that. You'll need to learn the different parts. This right here is the mag DR. So you need a rifle frame, uh, five five six barrel auto mechanism, and a two X scope. But here is the rab. So that also uses basically the same thing except for a silencer instead of the auto mechanism. And um, You can use an auto mechanism for a has, but if I'm going to find an auto mechanism, since they seem to be more rare now, I'm going to save it for the mag DR. 
Where's my Mach 9 at? You can't craft that. Oh, you can't craft the Mach 9. Where do you get it at? Uh, from the loot drop and the uh, repo kill. Okay. All right. So, good to know. I thought you could craft it. I guess I've just found them before. Anyway, and then here is the um, the grave digger. So you need a rifle frame, a 5.56 five, barrel, a wood stock, and a shovel. But if with those, you're two way, you're two of them towards a mag DR. So I don't even know that I would ra waste my time on that or towards your Rab 47. All right. So I think that pretty much concludes this tutorial. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell all your friends. So until next time, this is iRun365 signing and out. Tom. And, and Tomek. <laughs> Let's go for the loot drop. Let's go for the loot drop. Let me change my gun. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. Yeah.